Hey guys, welcome to Money Makers Club. Wish you a very happy new year. May this year bring you loads of success in everything you do, turning your thousands to millions and millions to billions. All right. In this video, we're going to analyze Bitcoin USD charts using Elliott Waves and Fibonacci to see where it is heading in 2018. Elliott Waves have three bull waves driving the price upwards and two bearish waves driving the price downwards with a retracement of 40% from all-time high. First wave is from 0 to 2 with 1 being the peak. At this stage, very early investors get in who fundamentally believe in the growth and who have a lot of patience to hold it for long term taking risk. Second wave is from 2 to 4 with 3 being the peak. This is where institutional investors get in having tested the waters during wave 1. Third wave is from 4 to 5 with 5 being the peak. There is extreme optimism in the market. Everybody is talking about it and this is also called as greedy phase just before healthy correction or crash. This is followed by two bearish waves downwards. These patterns are similar on any chart and on any time frame as human emotions tend to be sane at certain level of price. Majority of them either get greedy or be fearful driving the prices up or down. Here we can see that each Elliott wave has another Elliott wave pattern within it for smaller time frames. So we can actually see the same pattern on monthly chart half yearly chart, yearly chart, so on and so forth. We shall apply and see this on December month and half year time frame period of 2017 on Bitcoin USD chart. This is BTC USD 4 hours chart for one month time period starting from 1st of December 2017. We can see the exact Elliott wave pattern with three bullish waves followed by two bearish waves. And it already started a new Elliott wave starting this month in Jan 2018 after C wave. Now let's look at BTC USD daily chart for 6 months period. We can again see the same pattern of 3 bullish waves followed by 2 bearish waves. And we are yet to see a clear rebound on daily chart from B to C leg of Elliott wave before it starts a new wave. There's a lot of FUD around Bitcoin being a bubble. Let's see what bubble anatomy has to say. First comes the smart money. These are early stage investors who did fundamental research and invested at a very low valuation. This is the same as first wave of Elliott waves. Then comes the awareness phase where institutional investors get into market. Early stage investors partially book profit here. This is the first sell off. And sometimes institutional investors try to manipulate markets by placing short orders to bring down the market so that they can enter at a better price. This is bear trap where everybody feels market is going down and it is going to be bearish but in reality it was just a small dip to buy more on dips. This gains media attention where you would be seeing news almost every day which brings new money from public creating enthusiasm. That is followed by a greedy phase where even early stage smart investors tend to get greedy thinking they should have invested more looking at the faster growth and try to invest more. Also, new investors blindly start investing without any fundamental knowledge, just looking at the rally. That's when institutional investors sell partially. This is the first bearish wave of Elliott wave pattern. Then comes a small rebound upward where everybody feels market is going to make new highs. However, that is actually a bull trap. Where institutional investors sell majority of their stake, bringing down the market further which in turn creates fear in public and panic selling begins for it to drop sharply down. Now let's take a look at BTC USD daily chart for 6 month period and analyze the bubble anatomy. We can see that the pattern is very similar. Bitcoin was trading in the range of 2000 and 3000 until mid July when few smart investors got in and invested. Then came news of institutional investors getting into market launching Bitcoin futures exchanges that news was priced in early between August and September. Then there was a small dip followed by a lot of media attention on Bitcoin as it survived major hard fork. Lot of new investors came into market which took crypto market from $150 million to half a trillion. And there was a sell off from all time high of $20,000. Now we are somewhere in between bull trap and phase of fear. As per this, there should be further downside in the first quarter of 2018 itself before making new highs later this year, unless the resistance levels are broken upward right away. To identify the support and resistance levels, we make use of Fibonacci. 
Recent all-time high of Bitcoin was 19,783. Based on this, we can derive Fibonacci key retracement levels. 38.2% retracement is 12,226. 50% retracement is 9,892. And 61.8% retracement is 7,557. So the support levels are 12,226, 9,892, and 7,557, and resistance levels are 16,750 and 20,000. We can see that the price already rebounded from support level close to 12,000, which is a good sign. However, we can also see that 16,750 forms a strong resistance as it rebounded downwards from there twice. Now there are three possibilities. Either Bitcoin will remain range bound, in which case it is going to trade between twelve thousand two twenty six and sixteen thousand seven fifty for some time. Short term traders can take advantage of it from trading between this range. Second possibility is that it's going to break support line at twelve thousand two twenty six downwards, moving towards nine thousand eight ninety two and seven thousand five fifty seven, making twelve thousand two twenty six as new resistance. Smart investors can see this as a buying opportunity and invest more if this happens. If all support levels are broken downwards, then it's considered as crash. I personally don't think Bitcoin can break all support levels as it sustained major negative news last year, even when China banned Bitcoin trading. But that's just my opinion only. This is not an investment advice. Do your own research and invest only as much as you can afford to lose. Third possibility is that it's going to break resistance at sixteen thousand seven fifty, moving towards twenty thousand, making sixteen thousand seven fifty as new support line. Further, if it breaks twenty thousand resistance without rebounding downwards, then it is going to make new all-time high of twenty four thousand three ninety in near future as immediate target. Of course, it can go beyond that if supplemented by more positive news by many new countries regulating it and new money flowing in. and the release of lightning network to resolve scalability issue can also drive price higher so strategy for investors is to buy on dips and hold for long term or you can do dollar cost averaging by investing some amount every week and invest more on dips and short term traders and derivative traders can look for shorting opportunities and sell if it rebounds downwards from resistance levels and buy it back at lower levels In any case, stay diversified. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. There are many promising ICOs and altcoins which are giving better returns than Bitcoin. Some of the ICOs recommended in Money Makers Club in 2017 has made 500% to 1000% returns. Join our Telegram channel for regular updates on Bitcoin and Ethereum analysis and also ICO reviews. Subscribe and click on bell icon to instantly get notified whenever a review is published.